Hi guys, just wanted to share with you something interesting I learned today about how to draw things in correct proportion to one another in a scene. So for instance, how big should that fence post there be compared to that fence post there? How do you figure that out? Or how big should those sheep be compared to that fence post there? I often have trouble with this, as you can see in this painting, like these uh, these balls are not the right size for this scene and it's often very hard to actually choose a size for a thing because you know you get it a little bit wrong and it just seems too big or too small. Same story with these little seagulls here. Uh, I th think they're too big, especially this one here, for the scene. So, see what I normally do is just uh, measure one thing against another thing and do it by uh, comparison. But what I found out today is that I don't have to be quite that haphazard about it. I can actually use a bit of technical knowledge. So let's uh, this is about perspective drawing so let's take a simple scene like uh, a person standing on a beach and we'll have a horizon line okay and the horizon line is always at the eye level of the painter All right and let's put a vanishing point somewhere there doesn't matter where and let's put a six foot tall person standing on the beach okay they're going to be about that tall six feet tall and there's the head, shoulders, legs. Okay. Now, if I wanted to put another person further down the beach, how would I figure out how tall they should be? Let's say I wanted to put a person here, with their feet there on the sand. How would I figure out how tall that person should be compared to there and compared to the placement of the horizon line? Okay, here's how you do it. You just draw a straight line from the top of the head to a vanishing point. Straight line from the uh, the feet to that vanishing point there. Okay, and then basically draw a light line across and a vertical line up. And there you have it, that's the height that a person should be. So you just take that measurement there, move it across, and that is the height of your person right there. With the head and shoulders and legs in correct proportion to that person there. That's cool, eh? So let's say I wanted to put a seagull down the beach as well. Maybe I wanted to put a seagull here. Okay, I could just guesstimate it, but uh, let's take a more technical approach. So let's say we've already got a person or something to measure by in the foreground. And I know how big a seagull should be if he's standing right next to that person. Should be about that high. Depends on the size of the seagull, of course, but let's say he's about that high. So we've got a seagull here. Okay, lovely little seagull, and so he's that high on the person, right, just below the knees, and I'll just draw a straight line again from that height of the seagull to that same vanishing point, trying to get a straight line. Okay, so basically what you've got is the size of this seagull, which is diminishing all the way to nothing on the horizon, or pretty close to nothing. So, at this point, just draw, here's where his feet are going to be down the beach, draw a straight line across, at this point, in the distance, he, that seagull here, is going to be that size. Okay, so we'll just take that measurement across, because this is where we want him to be, and that same little seagull 
going to be that height. So it's neat, eh? Nice simple concept to allow you to draw things in proportion. Hope you like that. There's more painting tips at livepaintinglessons.com.